A promising new drug could give people living with early onset Alzheimer's more quality time with loved ones. You'll remember the FDA approved it, but Medicare won't pay for it, and it is making it too expensive for most patients. In tonight's Where's the Money report, WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden spoke with a woman fighting to get the help she needs. This is an unprecedented decision that people living with Alzheimer's say is robbing them of precious time. Lori Waters still remembers most things. My husband and I, when we got married. Most of the time. I think that's Jocelyn, my granddaughter. There are family photos all over the house, and yet... Okay, so you have five grandkids. Yeah, I have, I have a ton. Sometimes she just forgets things. People that I had known for years, I didn't even know their names. One time I left a pie in the oven, left the house, almost burnt the house down. You know, and I've had those days when all of a sudden I'm at food line and I don't know how I got there. It's the scariest thing that can ever happen to you. Lori was just 52 when her doctor told her test confirmed she had Alzheimer's. I said, well, how long do I have before I'm gone? He said, normally with a young diagnosis, it's eight to 10 years. I said, okay, what are we gonna do? That was six years ago. Lori was thrilled earlier this year when the FDA approved groundbreaking new drugs that show they slow the progression of the disease in people with early onset Alzheimer's. Uh, I was so excited. I was like, okay, because we had been fighting for this medication to get approved. But her excitement quickly faded when she learned she wouldn't be able to get the medication. <sighs> Outrageous. For the first time ever, Medicare is denying coverage of an FDA-approved drug, saying they need more proof the new Alzheimer's drugs are, quote, reasonable and necessary. It's heartbreaking. It's frustrating. Candidly, it's unacceptable. This is the first time in history that an FDA-approved drug has not been covered for a fatal illness in which there are no other treatments. It infuriates me that they can have that control over it. And yet if I go and put the money out myself for it, my husband will lose the house. We'll lose our house, we'll lose our savings, we'll lose everything. The drugs cost $26,000 a year. I, I know I can't afford it. She's already burned through her 401k, spending $80,000 on medications that just treat her symptoms, but don't slow the disease like the new drug might. To me, it's criminal. Last month, Lori was a part of a group at the White House fighting for coverage. Ultimately, the decision makes this a drug that only the wealthiest of wealthy um, can afford. I actually contemplated suicide because everything I read about Alzheimer's and what effect it was going to be on my family, I didn't want that. We know we're dying, but why not give us some extra time? Let, it, let us have that time with our family. One group that does have access to the drugs, veterans. The VA just announced they will be covering the drugs for veterans. And while this is a good thing, the coverage doesn't start until age 65, typically years after they should start on this drug. Back to you.